Hello there, ladies, gentlemen, and non-binary folk. What's going on? I am Josh. And as you can see, I'm going to be responding to some shit from the American Thinker website. And also, as you can see, the title of this particular pile of shit is Burning Church, Cop on Fire. A whiff of what the left wants for us from Chile. <sighs> like, I love this idea of, like, you know, like, burning church. It's, like, it's not like people are in the fucking church when this shit's going down. And even then, you can fucking see in the fucking screen right fucking now. You can literally say that they're pulling pews and statues and shit like that out and burning that, not the fucking church. But it, also, just you know, I, this should be everybody's fucking catchphrase. ACAB. All coppers are bastards. Full fucking stop. Especially these police, because they're protecting a fascisty little shitty fucking dictatorship. Anyway. I'll leave a link to this if you want to go read it for yourself. <laughs> uh, the author, as you can see, is Monica Schwalter, who I fucking hate. But let's get to it. If you want to gander at what the far left really wants from all of us, for all of us, take a look at the unleashed barbarism going on in Chile. Okay, let's click on this. San Diego Tribune. Alright, news. Nope, I'm not interested, fuck you. Uh, whatever, close. Alright, um, just image. Um, uh, damage. Also, I love how people are like, fucking, a religious statue. Oh, shit. Um, that's a, not a great picture. Uh, looted the Roman Catholic Church Friday. There's people dragging church pews, statues of Jesus, and other religious iconography from La. Asun, Asuncion Church onto the street and setting them on fire at a flaming brigade, a barricade before they clashed with police. Um, chanting and holding banners <clears throat> while others turned on the lights on their cell phones and waved Chilean national flags. The Chilean capital's mayor estimated about 75,000 people had crowded the square. Spoke blah blah blah. Local TV reported attacks on businesses and businesses in some areas of the city and said a civil registry had caught fire. Oh no. <laughs> Documents. Most of the protests over the past twenty two days have been peaceful, but some have turned violent. Some rock throwing demonstrators have been clashing with riot police, who responded with volleys of tear gas, which fairly certain is not, you know, we can't <laughs> This is really fucked up. You can't shoot that into other countries, but you can use it on fucking people in your own country. You know, shooting it into other fucking countries is, like, you know, a violation of international law, but you know, using it on your own fucking people is fine and fucking dandy. And water cannons. Those same things that they, you know, shot at black people in the 1960s. Uh, 2,500 people have been injured in the protests. Uh, two major international summits in Santiago. I don't think the people protesting give a shit. Uh, broad change of range of demands, including improvements in education, healthcare, and a widely criticized pension system in one of Latin America's richest, most, but mostly socially unequal countries. Hmm. We still haven't achieved anything, so we're going to keep protesting. I wonder I wonder what Monica Showalter's fucking views on the Hong Kong protests are. Because a lot of right-wing people love the protests in Hong Kong because, you know, protesters are, you know, waving American flags and shit like that, but, uh, and they're also they're telling, you know, the Chinese to go fuck themselves. <clears throat> but this, you know, this fucking... Also, those Hong Kong protesters are fucking... They got a good head on their shoulders, you know? They're good at, you know, they fucking, like, people, you know, fucking nullifying, you know, tear gas with fucking liquid nitrogen that you just so happen to fucking have. <laughs> like, I'm not saying that, like, that didn't happen. I'm just saying, like, you just, some people fucking have, you know, liquid nitrogen. Anyway. 
Santiago, Chile. Hunter protests was looted a Roman Catholic Church Friday near the main gathering of, uh, site for three weeks of mass protests after, against Chile's government over inequality. Also, I'm supposed to feel bad for the Roman Catholic Church? Okay. You, the fucking, you know, pedophile fucking ring hind motherfuckers? I'm supposed to feel bad for them and also the wealth hoarding motherfuckers? Okay. <clears throat> An Associated Press photographer witnessed people dragging church pews, statues of Jesus, and other religious iconography from La... I already read that, uh, church onto the street and setting them on fire in a flaming barricade before they clash with police. Pigs don't like fire, because they know they'll get roasted. <clears throat> Ashes spread to Santiago's Plaza Italia. <laughs> fucking weird that Chile has a fucking Italian square. Um, where thousands were chanting and holding banners. While others turned on the, I read that, Smoke also built from the nearby headquarters of Pedro de, de Valdivia University, which was also looted, though it wasn't clear if protesters started the fire. Authorities said they were still investigating the cause. Here is more, you know, fucking social upheaval in a fucking socially, you know, unequal fucking country. You know, people have had the fuck had a fuck enough. Reuters photographer Joe uh, said Joe's. Jose Silva was standing close to the uh, Bacuadano metro station that has remained shuttered amid arson attacks and watched as police tried to drive protesters away from a broad avenue leading out of the square. As the police used tear gas canisters and water cannon against the protesters, he saw a series of Molotov cocktails thrown in the direction of the police. Oh no, those fucking cops in riot gear with water cannons getting, you know, Molotov cocktails thrown at them. <clears throat> Two police officers were engulfed in flames. It's, it's all... Hmm. I wonder if they had something that they could put the fires out with. <laughs> they were helped by colleagues who used fire extinguishers in their hands to put out the, put out the fires. The two women, Maria Jose Hernandez Torres, 25, and Abigail Catalina Alberto Cardenas, 20, both members of the Santiago Police Special Forces, are in serious condition in hospital, police said. That bacon got a little bit too crispy, didn't it? Silva saw a flare out of the corner of his eye and swung his camera to capture an image just as, as the flames surged above the heads of the police officers. I realized the police officer had been set on fire by a Molotov and her team were trying to extinguish the fire, he said. Don't be fucking cops. <laughs> Don't be cops, especially in a fucking corrupt ass fucking country. Three Reuters photographers captured images showing one of the officers, her helmet pulled off, grimacing in pain as her colleagues sprayed her with a fire extinguisher to try to put out the flames licking around her face. Ivan Alvarado, a Reuters photographer based in Chile, who documented the scene from a nearby rooftop, said the flames spread quickly. That's kind of the point of a Molotov cocktail. Here's what it looks like. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a lot of people are sick and tired of some shit. Also, isn't it really funny that, um... You know, the police have guns and shit, you know, or they have, like, water cannons and shit, and, you know, like, they're still getting their shit kicked in by fucking protesters. Um, had enough of these filthy, wow, had enough of these filthy animals. I didn't see fucking Rey Mysterio or fucking Billy Kidman, or was Conan in the filthy animals? Anyway. Recent reports say the protests are getting smaller and smaller, yet now that this leftist vileness is getting even more horrible. Who they are, as who they are, as the leftists say. Fucking. Yeah, I love how you're ignoring the whole, you know, unequal, you know, fucking treatment and fucking, you know, I presume wealth inequality. You know, everybody has their fucking breaking point. <laughs> this is clearly the unleashing of a small group of barbaric hordes. They aren't about building anything. Their agenda is to tear everything down. I mean, when when what's been built up is fucked up, maybe you should tear it the fuck down, just saying. <clears throat> also, 
to quote Fever 333, to build it up, you gotta burn it down. Um, that's one of my favorite fucking songs. It's called Burn It Down, I think. Um, what do they want to tear down? Wealth inequality, corruption, possibly, various things. The miserable to them hard fact that Chile is the most prosperous nation in Latin America. At the expense of the lower and, you know, other cast of the fucking country and they don't like it. <laughs> it's not just prosperous. It was made that way. Prosperous by free markets. The incredible... The incredible, authentic, and peaceful revolution begun by the famed Chicago Boys, School of Economics, who had the guts, yes, guts, just read any of their memoirs, to enact free markets that have resulted in Chile's very un-Latin American prosperity. Wow. Um, the, ma the mask is just slipping off right fucking now. Holy shit. Um, like, fucking... Chilean economist, okay. Uh, under Milton Freeman and Arnold Harberger. <laughs> Upon their return to Latin America, they adopted positions in numerous South American governments, including the military dictatorship of Chile. Mmm. 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 Missing that part, Monica. Guts to side with the military dictatorship. <clears throat> the maggots pulling this stuff want Chile to become Venezuela. I mean, Venezuela... Venezuela became Venezuela because of the same kind of shit? <laughs> like, like, you seem to think that, you know, Venezuela is like a socialist country when it wasn't? It, it was state capitalist? Because the state owned all of the means of production, like the people didn't own the means of production, and, you know, corruption, and, you know, like, are, are you, are, are you sad that people are, you know, burning down the dictatorships and shit like that? And they are doing their darndest to Venezuelan, Venezuelan eyes. Venezuela eyes? It should just be like Venezuela eyes or something. Chile into just another Latin hellhole. Wow. Again, you know. The military dictatorship of Chile. <laughs> Fucking. You know. Me, mm, uh, I don't know how many people actually are in favor of the fucking. The fucking. These, you know. Chile, like, or, like, in the, in the favor of these fucking people. Like, look at all these fucking people. Just, um. You fucking know. For the economy, development, and reconstruction under President Sebastian Pinera. Pinera, I guess? Fucking, um. He was president in 1969 as a part of Jorge Alessandri's this is the presidential candidacy. Alessandri rejected El Iadaro after the 1930s, 1973 coup d'etat, uh, which brought Augusto Pinochet to power. Mm. Also, this is funded by the Ford Foundation, uh, which is named after a guy who was okay with Nazis. Um, it's, you know, again, I just, it's military dictatorship. Um, <laughs> it's, it's really funny that you're, uh, you're defending Pinochet? It's just weird that you're defending Pinochet. Um, the better to impoverish and disempower the people and set the stage for a far left clown dictator. Uh, <laughs> um, eh, you know.
In that referendum, the Chilean people denied Pinochet a new mandate, opening the way for the reestablishment of democracy in 1990. Held the following year. The military dictatorship ended in 1990 with the election of Christian Democrat candidate Patricio Aluin. However, the military remained out of civilian control for several years after the junta itself had lost power. <laughs> like... Seriously, you're praising the Chicago boys who 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 literally went to fucking ch to Chile and you know just cozy up to a fucking dictator. <laughs> fucking. <clears throat> Their acts are the first clue. They even want to make first world Chile look like Venezuela. First world Chile look like Venezuela. You do you do realize people die of homelessness and exposure in you know for first world countries. So stealing, looting, assaults on rule of law. Mm. Anyway. And attack churches and heritage were were some of the first, very first steps taken on Venezuela's road to hell. Think of that next time Bernie Sanders or Alexander Ocasio-Cortez state just how great socialism in the U.S. is going to be. I mean... I mean... Uh... <laughs> fucking... Again, you're, you're... You're defending... Fucking... Pinochet? <laughs> like, you're literally... Implemented economic liberalization, including currency stabilization, ro roof tariff protections, banned trade unions, and privatized social security in hundreds of state-owned enterprises. How, but critics state that economic inequality dramatically increased and attribute the devastating effects of the 1982 monetary crisis on the Chilean economy to these policies. For most of the 1990s, Chile was the best performing economy in Latin America. Though the legacy of Pinochet's reforms continues to be in dispute. A dozen banks secretly held abroad and a fortune in real estate. He was later prosecuted for embezzlement, tax fraud, and uh, for possible commissions uh, levied on arms deals. Fucking, again, you know. Fucking. The Chicago boys were so great. That they fucking... Oh yeah, also, Pinochet took power from Salvador Allende. So. You know, democratic socialist politician. You know, got fucked over by... Uh, on September the 11th, 1973, the military moved to oust Allende in a coup d'etat supported by the United States CIA. Uh, he gave his last speech voting, vowing not to resign. He committed suicide with an 8K47 gifted to him by Fidel Castro. Made by a Chilean court with the sense of his international experts in 2011. Fucking. He used to return authority to, this, to a civilian government, and Chile was later ruled by a military junta. That was up until power to the 19... Up until 1990. I was fucking two when this shit happened. Fucking seriously. Is Peter Shea the way the one who fucking would throw people off of fucking out of helicopters? Is that someone fucking else? Is that one of these other fucking scumbag dictators? Look at this shit. What the fuck? That is fu burn this motherfucker to the ground. Just, just again, yeah, you fucking, when, when you're defending, when you're defending the, the Chicago boys who sided with Pinochet, not a great fucking look, who's also, you know, he was also, um, what the, who was, you know, <laughs> Fucking Pinochet, who was, uh, 
helped by the CIA. Anyway, yeah, fucking th these fucking protests are the worst thing ever. Just ever, ever, ever. The worst things fucking ever, ever, ever to fucking happen ever. Anyway, ta-ta everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful fucking day.